so much for all that you're pouring into us. I have a basketball and I've got a football player, and I've been introduced to the NCSA. Mm -hmm. um, could you kind of elaborate a little bit about the NCSA, your thoughts on that as a coach? How much do you interact with them? The value of it, of course, there's a marketing piece there. Right. But a few things. Um, there are lots of recruiting services out there on the athlete's end. Um, and, and I think they all serve a purpose. Um, I am, I don't really utilize, and this is, I said earlier, I try and talk broad and general, and this is me specifically. I don't put a whole lot of investment into recruiting services that inundate my email inbox with kids randomly and to some degree randomly. Um, I think we can uh, see enough kids, uh, evaluate enough kids, do our due diligence and background checking kids, which let me follow up on that too, but uh, that to get a generic email from somebody whose job it is to sell you a package to put your name out there. Again, you know what, if I get one and it says the kid's from Raleigh and he's 6'8", and I may follow, hey, it's an hour away, I can go see him play easily. You know, if he's, you know, if they're sending your kid's stuff to somebody in St. Louis, and for this, I, this is, again, this is my opinion. In the sports of basketball and football, the recruiting is at such a high level if, and this is, this is no disrespect, if it's women's softball or golf or maybe, uh, you know, I don't know what. There are sports that probably the recruiting hasn't reached the level of, you know, I don't need that help. They may, in certain sports, need more names. They may need more of a pool to draw from. Um, so in, in our sports, I don't know how much anybody else uses them. There are a couple of recruiting services that work in the, the reverse. They sell to us, and there are some good ones and there's some not so good ones. And I subscribe really only to two, and, but they're not selling to you guys. They are out there evaluating players, and I've got to trust those people, and that's why I only subscribe to two, and there's a bunch of them out there. Um, so they're, I'm buying their service, and they're providing me information on guys. Um, so I don't, I don't do much with that. Recognizing that's not the way to do it, but what's the mix in your mind of people that you find that you want to go versus some contract that somebody next to you that says, I'm interested in you? Yeah. Not, what's the mix of that? Hey. Probably 70 30. Um, I think the 30, and that's just off the top of my head, but the 30 comes in again, it depends on who recommends them. You know? Um, you know, like there's a bunch of good coaches in Wake County, Durham County. You know, like we've got a lot of great high school coaches and a lot of great AAU coaches, and if a guy calls me or texts me or emails me and says, hey, I got a kid you need to look at, I'm probably going to look at him, you know? Um, or at least at a minimum, if, uh, if I'm not too sure, if maybe it's a guy that I know who he is, but I don't really know him, at a minimum, maybe I'm sending one of my assistants the first time. You go check him out. If you think he's worth it, then I'll go. Uh, so... You know, but if it was only a parental recommendation, it would be less than 30%. Um, so, it, but that's my best guess. Most of it is we're going out, we spend a ton of time on the road. Uh, again, high school games, AAU games, practices, um, and, and then follow, you know, between, uh, I don't 
know what it was last year, but kind of between our last game right before Christmas and we didn't play again until I think January 2nd or 3rd, in that window right there, uh, I probably saw something like 30 games because of Christmas tournaments. Uh, you know, in that window, like I was someplace in like, you know, South Granville, they've got a tournament with 16 teams. I could see 16 teams in one day. And then the next day I was over here in Raleigh and I could see however many teams were here and go to Fayetteville and do, you know. So we're looking at guys all the time. And as I say, I may go see Scott and in the process find Harper, you know. And so 